Hello and welcome to another Naughty Egg Draw. I'm Jake and today I'm bringing you a tutorial on how to draw in Photoshop. I get a lot of people asking me all the time what I use to make most of my drawings when I do a digital work and most of the time it's Photoshop. Every once in a while I'll make some stuff in Animate CC uh, but today I'm just going to be showing you Photoshop. I'll be showing you kind of some basic tools, maybe some tips that I use when I'm drawing characters and all of that stuff. Alright, so let's get started. Uh, so as you can see, right now I'm just kind of doing some really like pencil sketch line work. Um, I'm going to be doing uh, a character that you would see normally at the beginning of my uh, at the beginning of my shows. Uh, it's just my avatar. Um, so I, I mean, even though I've drawn this character quite a few times, I mean it's basically myself. Um, I, I still like to do some pencil sketching just to kind of get. A basic idea of what I'm going to be doing for maybe a stance in the drawing. So, and and I'm going to say just, so throughout this video, I'm going to kind of go in and out of speeds, so you don't have to sit here and listen to me talk constantly while I'm drawing. So yeah, uh, I'm going to fast forward right now. Uh, you guys can kind of get a basic idea. There's not a whole lot to talk about right now. This is just basic sketch work of what I'm doing as far as getting a character laid out on the page. All right, welcome back. Um, so now that I finished up my sketch lines here, I'm gonna go in and kind of make a second refined sketch. Uh, I normally go in with a blue with the beginning and then a red with my second refined and then I go in finally with my ink, uh, which is gonna be like the blacks and then I color it in after that. Um, so as you can see here, I'm, I'm doing a little bit harder lines. Um, so when I'm working, I normally keep my, my brushes in a, um, a pressure sensitive mode uh, so I'm pushing down just a little bit harder here than I was when I was doing the sketches and being a little bit more refined with my lines uh, as you can see before I was just kind of just going at the page uh, just kind of to get the basic idea but this is kind of the spot where you want to uh, get a little bit more of your your idea a little bit more concrete maybe get your proportions a little bit better get some minor details in there that you might want to see that you maybe will forget about if you don't add it in now when you start doing your inked work and then you're going to kind of be mad at yourself that you have to go back in after you start inking and redo a whole section. So right now I'm using actually a brush set. Um, if you guys have seen maybe um, it's it's by Jazza, Jazza Studios. He actually does a lot of tutorials as well. So make sure you go check out his page. Uh, you can make your own brushes. Um, I've made a couple of my own. I'm never too happy with them, but so I've, I I went and purchased the ones that I'm using now, and I, I love these. They're they're great. Uh, he has like everything from like uh, pencil sketching to like hard line like markers, that kind of stuff. All right, so I'm gonna fast forward again here. Uh, again, this is kind of another section. There's not a whole lot to talk about. I'm um, just kind of, you know, like I said, refining my lines, making sure I, I want to see everything, how I'm going to want to see it in the final version. Um, like this section right here, I'm not too happy with the hand. Um, so I'm going to probably, I think I'm going to draw it, you know, the hand facing downward. Um, just for this 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 character, that, that little like, I don't know, Ed and Eddie hands backwards kind of look just wasn't working for me on this one. All right, so I'll see you guys in a little bit. All right, so my second sketch line is done, and now I'm moving into the inking stage. Uh, now this is like where I drop down into black, make sure my brush is just a little bit bigger. I want a little bit thicker lines for this section. Uh, all right, so the biggest thing here is just, this is the area where you're gonna wanna go a little bit slower. Make sure all your lines are clean. You don't wanna half-ass it here. This is this is where everyone's gonna see. This is the, your, your, last, your last version, like right there. 
you know, I had a little wiggly line there. My hand actually skipped across the page. I'm actually can't find my my drawing glove right now, so my hand is skipping a lot when I'm drawing. But you don't want that in your final version, so you're gonna want to undo that kind of stuff uh, and just really make it look nice. Now, one thing you're going to want to do if you want to make sure your drawings are coming out nice and clean uh, on the canvas is make sure that canvas size is decent. Um, I think I'm doing mine in 1920 by 1080 at uh, 300 DPI. And just remember, if you're ever printing anything, you want to make sure you have your image at, you know, 300 DPI or higher. I mean, some printers might be a little bit lower. Um, some of them are like 240 DPI at, for their max. But make sure if, you, if you're planning on maybe printing some of these, make sure they're at a little bit higher DPI. Uh, so now I'm going in, maybe, you know, I'm going to make some adjustments here uh, with the hat. It's not going to fall exactly to the red line. That red line was more of a guideline. Uh, so it doesn't have to be exact. But that was, you know, like I said before, that was like a really good refined line to give yourself a stronger idea than that early sketch line was. Uh, I'm, I'm kind of liking this hat a little better now. Got to get that, got to get that that beard hair in there. Um, I always draw my beard for some reason a lot thicker than what I normally have it at. I mean, I can grow my beard like that, but I don't know, it just looks better like this than it does with like peach fuzz. All right, so I'm gonna fast forward here again until we get to the inking section, um, and I'll see you guys then. All right, so we are back for the final section now. Um, this is gonna be the inking section. Um, so what you're gonna wanna do when you're, when you're inking your stuff in is when you're on your paint bucket, make sure you have all layers clicked up at the top there. That's really gonna help you. It, it, so what it does is it interacts with all the layers, even though right now I'm on a different layer than what my inking lines are. It's going to interact with those and and work with those boundaries, so it's going to give you a lot cleaner of a of a of a layout um, of a color layout. So what I'm doing right now is I'm just doing all my base colors, uh, giving my my character their basic idea, give it make it a little bit cleaner. It's going to help when you go and do your shading afterwards. Um, it's kind of actually opposite of how I do it when I use Animate CC, uh, but that'll be a video down the road. But in there. Normally I do my shadows and highlights first, and then I go in. Um, that's just kind of because of how the, the brushes work in uh, Animate compared to Photoshop. So I'm going to fast forward just a little bit here. Um, this one's going to be a little bit faster of a, of a fast forward. I just kind of want to get all the base colors out of the way. And then I will come in and start doing the highlights and low lights and that kind of stuff. All right, so I'm back, and so as you can see, I have been doing some of the. Um, I did a little bit of the, uh, the, the shadows uh, while I was in that fast forward there. I felt like every time I was coming back to you guys, I was always on the face, and you guys are probably sick of seeing that mug of mine. Um, so the biggest thing you're gonna want to remember when you're doing shadows is think about where your light is coming from. Um, not, I wasn't thinking too too intensely when I was doing this one. So there's a couple spots where my shadows are starting to get a little off, but uh, this is just more of a concept drawing. And I mean, I shouldn't tell you guys to not always worry about it because it will look a little less realistic. Uh, but if you are just kind of doing a basic concept that maybe only you are gonna see, uh, you know, give yourself some basic highlights and lowlights, but maybe don't have to fret about it so much. Just kind of practice where your light source is coming from. Obviously mine is coming kind of from the top left side of this character. 
Uh, so all the shadows are going to be, you know, kind of be a little bit forced more on the right uh, compared to the left, depending on the stance of the person and where, they're, where they are in comparison of that light. All right, so I, I, you know, I'm probably not going to do any highlights in this one. Um, so it's just going to be the shadows here now. Um, and oh, I, I'm going to give you guys another quick little tip. Um, I'm not doing it here right now. Actually, you know what? I think I will do some highlights. I'll, I'll kind of show that to you guys. Um, using masking. Uh, I mean, I've already started this one, so I'm not going to go in and, and make a mask already at this point. But it, it kind of helps when you're you know working near edges and that kind of stuff because what it does is you know i would put a mask on my base color layer and even if i paint on the outside of those lines you're not going to see them you're not going to see it it's gonna it's gonna be blocked out um so you're you're only able to draw in the area that you've already drawn in before um and i could do another separate video pretty much all on you know just masking and different techniques that you can use when you're doing masking uh, it's really helpful I use it all the time when I'm doing a little bit more realistic based drawings. Um, so I'm going to fast forward here, get to the, uh, get a little bit more of these um, shadows done, and then I'll do some highlights for you guys. All right, and we're back for the last bit here. Um, this is going to be the highlights. Uh, so I made my highlights layer here. Um, and so I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to mask this. Uh, you're going to hold Alt, uh, at least on Windows. It's Alt, and then you're going to click on the layer that you want it to be masked to. So now when I draw, um, I can go out the lines. See, I'm, I'm most of those lines are going outside of the bordered area and they're not showing up. Uh, that's because of that masking tool um, is stopping it from going outside of those lines. Uh, if you were to unmask it though, you would see all those lines again. Um, so maybe when you're done, a lot of times what I do is I end up combining those layers sometimes. Uh, not always, uh, sometimes it's just for like a final version of mine. All right, so you know I'm pretty much done here. I'm just gonna do all the highlights I'm doing the hair, uh, doing some hair highlights. I can do a whole video on hair highlights. Hair is hard. I still struggle with it on a pretty regular basis, at least as far as uh, shading goes for it. Uh, but like I said, I'm gonna fast forward here and then I will see you guys at the end. All right, so I'm pretty much done with everything I want to do here. I'm just gonna maybe add a couple last details to this drawing. Oh, not green. Uh, I want brown. There we go. Um, so I'm gonna add last couple details. Uh, I really hope this tutorial was was enjoyable to you guys. I know it wasn't extremely informative. Um, it was just kind of more watching me draw, but sometimes there's nothing wrong with that. Watching other people draw and get get an idea of different people's techniques. It, it always helps me. So if you're new here, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, uh, leave some suggestions down below on maybe some things you want me to draw for you guys next time. I know I plan on doing maybe a character turnaround tutorial um, with this avatar as well. And this has been another Naughty Egg Draw Tutorials, and I'll see you guys next time.